Where do professional hunters go to test their marksmanship? We're at a shootout with two man teams who are shooting 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter gongs at up to 350 meters. Each shooter has 120 seconds per range, shooting any rifle caliber and scope combination of up to 300 magnum. This is Swarovski two man team steel gong challenge, the shooting competition where we have steel gongs set at different distances. We are shooting off natural rests as far as possible. They are either tree stumps or they are tripod sticks or they are hay bales or the lying prone shooting off shooting bags. Um, it is a competition set out to simulate hunting scenario that you will find in the field to a certain degree, but also to, to, to test your skill as a shooter. Shooters here include Rupert Giedemock and Turner Wilkinson. Rupert co-owns the Outfitters Universal Trophy Services in Pretoria and Turner is a PA. Anybody can participate in this type of shooting competition. You can use a dead standard hunting rifle and you can still shoot very well in this type of competition. That is where it tests your ability as a shooter and not the, the ability of your equipment that you have. Rupert and Turner won the 2016 competition, but they face a big challenge from the two Pete's this year, Pete Breda and Pete van der Heerwe. Pete van der Heerwe won the 2016 Hunting Rifle World Championships in Namibia. As the day progresses, we're in for a serious competition. No one is holding back. We've been seeing some exceptional long range shooting. And now we catch up with Rupert and Turner. As a sport, it's, it's quite difficult in the beginning, and and uh, you know once you get a feel of it and you and you practice a bit and you know you get the right equipment, any guy can do it. So it's a lovely shoot, nice to to, to be part of a team shoot to shoot gongs together, and to plan every range and every every position with your partner, and then obviously you know you hit the gongs and, and achieve what you want to. So yeah, we we just uh, we here for the fun and and we're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. And a lot of fun it is, but this doesn't resolve the tension as the competition heats up. What are you set on? Put it on to zero and then go to seven clicks from zero. Next one you're going to aim slightly high on the plate. Up until this point it's been a long hard day shooting, but it's about to get a whole lot more challenging as the clouds start to move in and the rain starts to pour down. Nevertheless, it's still a competition and there is still a lot more shooting to be done. Well, basically, we've come out here to see what it's all about so we can take this back home and uh, introduce it to other people in our communities. We'd like to see more uh, people of colour involved in it as well. And uh, this is a learning experience for us and what we've learned, we're going to take back to those people. It's a, it's a fantastic day out in, in the countryside and the beauty of nature with uh, friends and, and, and folk who enjoy the, the, the same type of activities and that's the most important thing to, to enjoy events like this. Um, we're passionate about shooting, we love shooting as a sport. Um, there isn't uh, much of it down here in KwaZulu Natal and uh, we normally have to travel very far to participate in these type of shoots. So we've also tried to do our little bit in this part of the country to organize these type of shoots. As the competitors come to the last of their 30 shots fired by each shooter, everyone is super eager to find out who the winners will be. So off we go to the lodge to tally up the scores and make the final big announcement. Today, we've got new winners and they didn't shoot a full score today, but they came very close. The winners, no other than Piet Breert and world champion Piet van der Heffer. Let them take a photo in, in front of it. Well done, Piet. Well done. Well done. You really get tested 
and your marksmanship get tested. You judge the distance, you judge the wind, and, and this to me is the best uh, form of shooting with a hunting rifle. For more about the shoot, search Swarovski Optic Steel Gong Challenge on Facebook. And to learn more about Swarovski Optics products, visit www.swarovskioptic.com. <laughs> <laughs>